JJJ, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Listen, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, man. And if you can, share it. Why not? Also, if you want to earn, you know, get a little Udemy course that's like 200 bucks, and I'm actually going to give it out for free to you. If you want to get a chance to actually win it, then, you know, come to my website, fill this out, subscribe. You know, you already know it's your boy Joe. Back at it again. But anyways, man, let's start like this. Tell you guys the time that I got offered $105,000 to work for a company, right? And to me, it was like, you know, it was like one of the greatest achievements in my life. And I didn't even take the job. But it, for me, it felt like, oh, God, like, you know, I made it. You know, like, I busted my ass so many years to, you know, get to this point. Because sometimes when you're teaching yourself, there's nobody there to applaud you and say, hey, you learned a new language. You know what I mean? For me, the way how I reward myself is with money and giving myself things. Where I'm like, okay, yeah, you stood at home for nine hours. Well, now you could go out and buy whatever the hell you want. You know what I mean? So that's how I repay myself. I don't know how you guys repay yourself and reward yourselves, but that's how I pay myself. I'm like, hey, you know what? You busted your ass for 12, 13 hours. You want to go and freaking go to the Gucci store and buy yourself a $400 belt, $500 belt? Go ahead. You earned it. That's how I think. But, yeah, so, um, yeah, so it was pretty crazy. I got an offer for $105,000 in a company that is very respectful and very respected out here in, in the United States. And it was just amazing. But I'm going to start like this. So we're going to go all the way to the beginning before I throw the, the big B-U-T, right? So I got approached by a, a recruiter. And the recruiter was like, hey, man, uh, do you know uh, JavaScript? I'm like, yeah, I know JavaScript. Do you know, you know, HTML, CSS, and whatever? Telling me a whole bunch of stuff, right? All the basics, all the things that I learned like two or three years before. And they're like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I know all this stuff. Do you know Angular? I'm like, yeah. Do you know React? I'm like, yeah. And it's like, I know everything. It's like, do you know, you know, Mocha? Do you know uh, Jasmine? Do you know, you know, Test Dream de Development? I'm like, hey, I don't have that much experience in it because most of the time I don't really use it in my own code. But, hey, I've, you know, I heard a couple of podcasts. I've definitely read about it and yeah i could you know if you give me the chance i probably could take it so in my head i'm like okay cool i'm gonna try to get you know a little bullshit job here in this company you know well the, I, at first i didn't know what company it was but i was like okay the person's gonna give me a little bullshit job and at that moment i was like i had like two weeks without a job and i was like fuck it i'll take whatever job th there is out there so yeah, then the guy goes like, okay, I'm going to get back to you. The guy didn't call me up for like two days. Then he calls me up and he's like, hey, they love your resume. I'm like, I don't even know where you sending my resume to. And the guy's like, oh, yeah, have you heard of this company called Viacom? And I'm like, wait, Viacom, isn't it like, you know, the guys from like MTV and like all those channels and stuff? And they're like, yeah. You know, Viacom, right? And I'm like, cool. So it's pretty great. I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm looking online. I go to glassdoor.com. I'm like, okay, glassdoor.com. And I search, you know, Viacom. I don't know why I'm doing it live for you guys. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm like searching, uh, whatever, uh, Viacom, right? So I search Viacom. And I'm looking at the reviews, and it seems like everybody there is pretty happy at the job. You know, as far as developers, like, they give it some pretty high reviews. And I'm like, cool, this is going to be a great, you know, opportunity. Then, you know, the guy goes like, oh, yeah, it's like, how much do you charge, Uh, you know, what's your salary, you know? What's the salary on your last job? And I was like, man, it was just, you know, at that time, I was like, oh, it's only 70000 you know? And the guy goes like, oh. That's that's too too little, man. We could get you more than that. And I'm like, you sure, man? I'm like, I've only been doing this for like 
three years. And the guy was like, listen, trust me. I got I got connections. <laughs> I got connections in the company. Right? So then I'm like, cool. All right, let's see how much you can get. So then he comes back with an offer and is like, hey, it's like we have a hundred five thousand dollars for you. And I'm like, wait, but I don't even know exactly what's the position. He's like, listen, you, you basically have all the criteria, like you have all the experience that is needed for the job and this, this, and that, right? And I'm like, cool. All right. I'll go for it, right? So then he's like, okay, we're going to do a, a phone interview. We're going to pass it down to, you know, the manager uh, over there, Viacom. And I got interviewed through the phone. They asked me um, pretty simple stuff, like JavaScript stuff, right? But then at the end, right, this is where the butt comes out, right? So the guy goes like, yeah, do you know, like, what did the recruiter tell you that you're going to be working on? I'm like, well, pretty much JavaScript. And I was like, okay, cool. I like JavaScript. And the guy was like, yeah, well, you know, you're not going to be working on anything that has a user interface. And I'm like, wait, what? So when they say no UI at all, it just means you're just coding. You're just creating functions and fucking creating shit that you can't even see it's like dealing with data and dealing with a whole bunch of other shit that they wanted me to do which i can do because i am a very good program especially in javascript but the reality of things is i would have been fucking miserable right i would have been fucking bored out of my mind i would have to go into the job like just go in from nine to five autopilot, be bored, bored as hell, and then come out of work and whatever. And then I'm like, man, do I really want to do this thing? So mind you, they sent me a test. They sent me a a, a a bullshit test. Whatever. I sent it back. I passed it. Then they're like, okay, we want you to come in and pretty much have a week with the team. And you decide if you, this job is really for you. Right? The day that I was supposed to go, I just woke up that day and I was like, man, I don't want to go over there. I don't want to be coding something that I can't even see. And uh, yeah, you could deal with data and stuff like that. And what I was going to be working on was actually on, you know, when you go to like, let's say MTV, right? You got a video clip. Basically, before the video starts, basically, my job will be to create and like it's like an algorithm dealing with errors and troubleshooting, you know, like the commercials that come up. So it deals with like sessions, it deals with cookies, it deals with what the person actually have has been seeing before. There's a whole bunch of shit. I'm not gonna go into details because this channel is not to be technical, this channel is to be pretty much on a very high level of like talking about code and development right so yeah and i was just like wait what like i don't even get to see no user interface like i'm not building a website i'm not coding anything that is remotely dealing with the website it's just me coding somewhere in like in viacom's basement slaving dealing with freaking the Google ads that they have or whatever ad system that they, they had built. And I was like, I don't want to be doing this, man. You know what I mean? So when I woke up that day, I was like, I'm not showing up. And whatever, I didn't show up, which probably I burned bridges over there at Viacom. Um, but I don't care because in reality, like the recruiter should have told me ahead of time. <laughs> What type of job it was i would have never even said yes to even taking a test or doing anything or even wasting my time or wasting that time because they really wanted me to work over there and they're like oh yeah you know but it's pretty much just like grunt work it's like those type of jobs they pay you a lot of money because nobody else wants to do it you know what i mean somebody has to do it somebody has to be building this ads you know ad system for viacom but that was not going to be me. And the reason why I make this video is because 
it's just hilarious to me where I'm like, you know, sometimes we think money is everything, but in reality it's not. Because if you if you go just for the money, you're not going to be happy. And that's where this story this story ends. It's like if you go in and be like, hey, I wanna become a you know, I don't know, a scholar or spark developer, you know, dealing with big data or whatever, or or just being a, a system administrator of like a company that all you deal with is databases. Like I don't know about you guys. For me, that's super boring. Like I don't want to be dealing with that. You know? And no amount of money will give me happiness to be working in something like that or in a project like that. So yeah, it's just crazy. Like and I just wanted to share this story because it was just funny to me. Like I was just thinking about it. Like right now I'm making a pretty decent amount, but it's not as close to a hundred five dollars. I'm making probably twenty thousand dollars less than that, right? And I was just like, you know what, man? Like I wouldn't have been happy there at all. Not only was the thing in the city too, because I don't like working in the city. I gotta take the train. I gotta wake up extra early, and when traffic coming back, it's a hassle. Like I never really liked it like that, so it was just crazy to me. And <laughs> again, I do make this video for people to come here and you know, and basically take this as in inspiration. You know, in the sense of like. I taught myself how to code, and somehow I'm, I could still pull off those big jobs if I wanted to. You know what I mean? I don't have a four-year degrees in uh, computer science or, you know, any mathematics or anything like that. So it's like, you know, it's like when people be like, hey, I could work at Google. And I'm like, yeah, me too if I wanted to. but do I really want to work in a company like that? Do I want to be doing boring shit just for, you know, to say, hey, I work at this big company and, you know, I'm getting this, 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 and this. Really? Do I really want to do that? I don't know. You know what I mean? So, and yeah, and also too, I just want to motivate people, like, also when they check this video out and be like, hey, you know, there's people who just hate on me and be like, oh, I hate that guy. How the hell does he even get to go up there and, and earn that much? I'm a better programmer than that person. Yeah, buddy, you probably are. But shit happens that I could get those jobs too. You know what I mean? Like, if I want to. Because I'm actually a good programmer. But at the same time, I don't come here and try to be super technical on this channel. But yeah, and that was my story of, of the day, you know. Like, I, I kind of went into it before, and somebody asked me, hey, you should go into more details of what happened, why didn't you work at Viacom, and this and that, and, like, how much they were trying to offer you. So now I'm sharing the story and, and what happened, right? And I probably burned some bridges over there at Viacom because I didn't, I just didn't show up, which I kind of regret. I should have just told them, hey, guys, I'm not interested. Bye. But, you know, because there probably was another, another uh, developer who really, really wanted that job. And I was just like, I don't even want that job. You know what I mean? Like, it would have been boring, like working with freaking with ads and just creating you know, the working and testing the, the ad system that they already had. That's boring to me. All right, guys. Anyways, man, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. By the way, if you go into my description, there's going to be a link that says, hey, get $10. Okay. All Udemy courses for $10, right? Now. You have to do that before the thing ends. I think it ends in like two days, two, three days from now. So, I mean, if you're here watching this a year from now, go ahead, click on the link. You might be able to get a, a discount. Maybe not for, you know, $10 course, 
but maybe it'll be fifteen or twenty dollar course. You know what I mean? Anyways, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again. Bow.